Welcome to BitRush Crypto. My name's Kyler, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on Bybit and showing you how to trade cryptocurrency on leverage, both longs and shorts. I'm going to be going over all of the features on Bybit, including a couple new ones like all of the new altcoins they've added to their inverse perpetual contracts, as well as the sub accounts, which is a much needed addition. While today's content is going to be a basic overview and tutorial of the Bybit platform, it's definitely not recommended for beginner traders, okay? So make sure you guys are comfortable making cryptocurrency trades on another platform. And if you're just new to cryptocurrency, I have a video um, titled basically How to Trade Crypto for Beginners. Go ahead and check that one out. Make sure you guys are competent traders. And now I'm going to show you, you know, basically for people who are good traders but new to leverage show you everything you need to know about leverage and how to use the platform so if that's you stick around if you're new around here make sure you sub to the channel and click the bell to be notified on all future content i post lots of great videos on making money with cryptocurrency and DeFi. Other than that, there's going to be lots of free value worth of cryptocurrency that you're going to get if you use the links in the description of this video. Bybit usually has several bonuses going, both a referral bonus if you use my link and also a deposit bonus based on how much cryptocurrency you deposit on your first time. So again, do yourself a favor and don't miss out on all those free credits and use the links in the description. Pound that thumbs up on this video and here we go. Okay guys, so just real quick, a little bit about Bybit. Bybit is one of the world's largest crypto trading platforms for leverage. And the reason why we like that means that there is a large amount of liquidity. Anytime you're trading, especially the larger amount of um, dollar value that you trade with, the more liquidity you want on an exchange so that you can buy the right amount of crypto and sell the right amount of crypto at any price you want, basically having depth in the market. And so this is a good thing for us as traders. There are several other platforms that do offer leverage. However, I prefer Bybit and that's why I'm going to show you guys how to use this today for longing and shorting any cryptocurrency that is available on the platform. The first thing you're going to need to do after clicking on the link in the description or the top pin comment will be coming over here to the registration screen and you just need to fill it out with an email or password. There is absolutely no know your customer or also known as KYC. Obviously, since I have viewers from all over the world, I can't give you guys specific advice on what's right for you. But what I can say is if you run a VPN, it masks your IP address and therefore gets around any sort of geolocation bans that may be on a website. If you're looking for a great deal on a VPN, I'll leave a link in the description below for Cyber Ghost VPN, which is what I prefer. And I also have a video that I'll link in the description below on how to use Opera Browser to get a free VPN if you're on a budget. Again, not financial or legal advice, I'm just letting you know what your options available are. Okay, once you've got your account set up and you're logged in, we we want to navigate over to the top here and just click on my assets and we'll open up a wallet that looks something like this. Here we can deposit any coin that we'd like to trade. Bitcoin, USDT, Ethereum, XRP, or EOS are the main coins available. There are several other coins available for trade using the USDT pair, which means if you want to trade anything other than Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, or EOS, you're going to need to send in USDT. However, what I recommend for everyone is actually making a deposit in Bitcoin. If you have Bitcoin available, deposit your first one in Bitcoin and deposit as much as you can because you do get a bonus based on the amount that you deposit, mainly in Bitcoin. So if you deposit another asset, you're not going to get that bonus. We deposit here in Bitcoin. We can then exchange it and trade it out for any other currency we're looking to trade, including the USD. That's just my little tip there for you guys to help you maximize the amount of free crypto you're going to get. 
Next, we want to come to the top and go to Promotions and go to Rewards Hub. If there's currently an extra bonus based on a keyword redemption, it will be pinned to the top comment of this video because sometimes they update, so I'll frequently come through and update that. They don't always have one, so if there's not one, don't freak out. If there is, go ahead and paste that in here and redeem, and you'll get another extra bonus. There's also several other task-based items that you guys can do here that will earn you bonuses as well. And if you see at the top here, the main one is depositing 50 dollars for your first time within your first 48 hours and they'll give you a free 50 dollars worth of credit that's on top of any other bonuses and then there's several other stuff you follow them on social media you're an active trader you use a take profit and loss and just different other things here that you guys can feel free to explore Bybit also frequently runs trading competitions and different promotions for like for iPhones and MacBooks and all kinds of good stuff. So I also recommend coming over here just to see the current promotions and see everything they have available. While we're over here making deposits and talking about different pairs, I want to explain the differences between trading on the inverse perpetual and the regular perpetual contract. So basically, if you're trading on the inverse pair, you're trading with Bitcoin um, and USDT, let's say, you need Bitcoin to make those trades. Or if you're trading on the regular perpetual contract, you're using USDT and you're keeping your coins in USDT versus keeping them in the other pair. So let's just come up here to derivatives and you can see if we do inverse perpetual, the only pairs available are Bitcoin, Ethereum, EOS, and Ripple. So if you have any one of those coins and you'd like to trade using those coins, you can. You can also trade all of these coins on the USDT pair, and there's a whole bunch of other coins that have recently been added. You can see here we have BNB, ADA, we have Doge, we have DOT, we have Uni, we have Bitcoin Cash, we have Litecoin, we have Solana, we have Link, we have Matic, Ethereum Classic, even Filecoin here, guys, Sushi, all kinds of great stuff available that you can now long in short with leverage using the USDT Perpetual. This is something I'm super excited about, especially since we're in a slightly bearish trend currently. It offers lots of opportunities for shorting some of these weaker altcoin projects. So again, get yourself some crypto deposited. I do recommend making your deposit in Bitcoin again. Regardless of what pair you're planning on trading, you'll get a better bonus with the Bitcoin and you can simply use the exchange function and trade that currency for any other currency available here that they have a pair for. Just using an example, let's say I had just deposited all that BTC and I wanted to trade it to USDT, I could just come here 100%, get the quote and convert it over. And if you don't currently have any crypto to start, your final option is the fiat gateway and you can just go ahead and buy some of any cryptocurrency you like using USD or whatever your native currency may be. Regardless of which way you decide to get coins into your wallet, you're going to need to do that as your first step. Once you have those coins, you are ready to start trading because you can see that most of our coins are in the USDT that we're going to choose one of the coins trading on the perpetual pair. And just to keep it nice and simple for today's video, we're going to stick with Bitcoin. And what do you know, it looks like they just released a new feature. We have a pop up here. It says multi chart mode display multiple charts across different trading pairs on one screen. Cool. So we can have different, um, yeah, different charts, you know, maybe want to watch Bitcoin and Ethereum at the same time. So that's pretty cool. New feature that I wasn't planning on covering that we just had launch as I'm making the video. Pretty amazing guys. And it looks like we just switch over here and we can get like a three chart or a four chart layout. Pretty sweet, so a bonus feature there for you guys. So the next thing we need to talk about right away is the different options available for margin. Coming to the very top here, we can see we are in isolated. If we click on that, we have the availability to switch between cross and isolated. 
The difference between the two are isolated. You're only risking the amount that you put up for each trade, whereas cross, you're risking the value of your entire account with every trade. Now, there are benefits to each. Um, cross obviously gives you much deeper liquidity on each trade, making it much less likely that you would get liquidated because you're going to have access to all of that extra amount in your account, not just the amount in your current trade. However, that also means it's a little bit riskier because if you do get liquidated, you lose your entire account, where with isolated, you only risk the amount that you put into the trade, but if you get liquidated, you're only losing that amount of that trade. If you're a beginner, and most likely you are if you're watching this tutorial, I definitely recommend staying on isolated to get started, and then as you feel like you're more advanced, you can move on to cross margin if you decide. I personally still trade on isolated. Next, we have a slider for the leverage amount for both long and short. You can have them individually set, so if you want a um, you know, a higher leverage, say for a long, because we're in a bullish market and you want maybe a 5x leverage on your uh, longs and you want just two and a half leverage on your shorts because you're not feeling very bearish, you can do that. You can set these to anything you want. You can drag them all the way up to 100%, which is definitely not recommended at any time unless you're already in heavy gains on a trade. And you can also come in and just type in what you want. So if you don't want to use the slider, you can easily change all of that here. Again, guys, for um, beginners, definitely recommending low leverage until you guys start making some money. And then you can crank up the leverage a little bit and also crank up your gains. Just confirm to change that and lock it in. And you can see the new changes have been applied. The next thing we need to talk about um, is basically setting market and limit orders. Most likely you guys are experienced traders if you're ready to start trading on leverage, so you already know the difference between limit and market. However, you know, basically, I'm just gonna explain it here for anybody that doesn't understand it, is uh, market is buying at the current price. So you're, you're just typing in the amount of Bitcoin you'd like to purchase, and it's gonna purchase off the order book at the current price. Limit is setting a limit and saying I only want to buy at or below this price on a long or at or above this price on a short. Again, guys, unless you're trying to just hop into a position really quick, maybe it's moving up upward really quickly or it's starting to dump and you just want to get out of your position, it's always recommended to do limit, um, you know, other than those couple occasions with a market order. So on a limit, we have two boxes here. We have the box for the price. Um, that we'd like to purchase at and we have the quantity we also have a nice little percentage thing here that chooses the amount of your account so if you want to just trade with say 50 percent of your account you can do that and it automatically calculates it here the other nice thing is if we come down to the bottom it's going to tell you the total usd value you can see there is 378 and 66 cents so that's the total amount in my trade and then this number right here is the amount of your trade times the leverage so it's the total value of the trade because we're on 1.1 so it's going to be my value of 378 times 1.1 which would be 46 next we can add in take profits and stop losses if we would like right from here. So if we're doing a long, you just click buy long um, with the stop loss and take profit. And then you're allowed to just enter those amounts. Again, you can use the nice easy percentage. So you wanna take profits at say 25% and do a stop loss at 5%. It figures it all out for you. You can also manually type it in or do plus and minuses here. And it also calculates it all down below so you can see everything nice and easily before you make your trade. And again, the same thing for a short. So just depending on which one you want to do, you could check that box. You can also add take profits and stop losses after you open a trade. So that's an option as well if you don't know the current levels you'd like to make those at. Next, real quick, let's just talk about being a market taker versus a market maker. Generally, when you're entering in a market trade, you're going to be a market taker. And when you put a limit order in, you're going to be a market maker. And what that means is you're adding liquidity to the order book. You're putting something on the order book. You're not taking something off of the order book. You pay a little bit more in fees being a market taker and you get a little bit of a rebate being a market maker. 
if you want to make sure you're maximizing the value of your trades and paying the least in fees just click that box here for post only and it'll make sure that your limit order is a market maker if all that sounds confusing and you guys aren't sure just check the box and know that it's better for your account okay let's make our first trade so i'm going to enter into um, a little trade here let's just take a look at the chart and let's see on the 30 minute it looks like we're getting ready for another little move up here so let's open up a long let's do 50 percent of our account and i want to actually increase i'm going to increase my leverage on the long to um, 2.5 let's get it back to that level so 2.5 x do 50 percent of my account here and that's going to be a value of 416 and we're going to open a long at 160 dollars so let's go ahead and click that and here it opens up the verification screen this is really great because it gives you all the info real quick one thing that you really need to look at down here guys is your estimate liquidation price so this is very important when making any trade this is the price that if it drops below on a long you're going to lose your total value that you have in the trade and if it was a short if it goes above that liquidation price okay so because we're doing a long we would need the price of bitcoin to stay above twenty thousand nine hundred and eighty dollars for this trade to be active otherwise we'd lose the total value of the trade that four hundred dollars if everything looks good go ahead and click confirm and if you don't want to see these confirmation messages anymore you can tick that box i always like them because it's a good reminder to check everything just to make sure my trade is how i want it as almost like a double check and confirm once we have our trade in we can come to the active tab and we can see everything about that trade i switched things up a little bit to make it go through because i had the price higher than the current value so i had to change that so the numbers we just talked about are a little bit different however we can see all of the information about our trade here and if we want we can click here to add a take profit or stop loss Again, it's the same panel as we saw before. We can do the percentages or we can just type everything in manually. So right now, if the price of Bitcoin drops back down to this line, we're going to open our trade. So one really cool thing about Bybit is that we also have the ability to edit our trade simply by dragging and dropping. If I can click it and drag it, and if I let go, it's going to change the price to wherever I let it go at. So let's move it up here a little bit higher and see if we can get it filled right under the current price so just let that go and we can see order submitted successfully so change the prices here and because we're super impatient we're making a video let's just cancel that one altogether instead let's use market order so this is what a market order is for we want our order right this second we can't wait guys so let's do 50 percent and let's buy long confirm everything again as we see it and here we go and that position has been filled and submitted successfully we can now come back to the positions tab and on the positions tab we can see everything about our order we can see the contracts the quantity we can see the value we can see the enter price the liquidation price our position margin we can see our unrealized profit or gain so if we start to get into profits we'll see that here and there's also um, you know if it goes the opposite direction you're going to see how much you've lost we also have our daily realized profit and loss for the past 24 hours we have the ability to add a stop loss and take profit now that the position is open and we also have two new functions that have been added since the position is live we have a trailing stop loss which is a really handy feature that i often like to use and basically what this does is it, it takes a stop loss and uses it to trail behind a position that's moving up or down on a short so if um, say example you wanted to add a trailing stop loss for a price retracement of maybe um five hundred dollars so if the price of bitcoin retraces more than five hundred dollars from the current high since i've placed this trade it's going to close my trade in a stop loss so i can confirm that 
and we can now see that here on the chart we have that stop loss and again I can drag and click that or you know get into here and edit it manually with this little edit button but basically if the price of Bitcoin continues to move up this is gonna move with it and so it's always gonna maintain a position relative to the price of Bitcoin at its highest so if it moves up it's gonna move up with it and maintain a position of five hundred dollars less than the current high now if the price starts to come down it's not gonna move down it's gonna stay there and that's the whole point is that if it continues to go up you're gonna move your stop loss with the price of Bitcoin so eventually if it comes back down you're still going to take gains I often like to add these into my positions when I'm already in profit and I just want to make sure that I never lose um, you know a certain amount of profit and so you know let's just say I'm up a thousand dollars on my trade and I wanted to do half of that I could add this trailing stop loss for 500 so I'm never gonna lose more than half of my gains and if the price continues to go up I'm gonna gain even more as my maximum gains so a really handy feature there guys and I'm just gonna close it out So we also have the ability to close by limit or close by market. Close by market means we want to close our position right now. Say we were in heavy profit, we didn't want to wait, and we don't care about the exact price or anything like that. We just want to take our gains. We click close by market, and it's going to ask you how much you want to close. 50%, um, 100%, so you could close 10% of your order. Confirm. Obviously, we're not doing that, so let's just click cancel. The other great feature here is we can close by limit. So we can say if the price hits a certain level, um, we can basically, you know, it's almost like a take profit or a stop loss, but at a certain price. So if we want, you know, we could say if it hits 60,000, close this, right? So another option there available for you guys. And one of the things to keep in mind about Bybit is that there's several ways to skin the cat, so to speak, right? That saying, um, but everything in here you can kind of do two or three ways. I'm trying to show you guys the best available ways that I know how to do them, but there's also other ways that you'll figure out different, um, you know, buttons and uh, features here within different things. So if I miss something or I don't cover something completely 100%, I apologize. I'm trying to do my best job just to give you an overview on all of the features here. The next thing we need to talk about is profit and loss. There is a nice calculator at the top right here. If you look, it kind of looks like a little calculator button. We can click that and it can calculate, you know, any, you type in the amount of leverage and the quantity and, um, you know, the entry price and close price and all this good stuff right here, guys. It's, you know, just a real easy calculator for you guys to figure out exactly how much money you would make on each position, on a long, on a short. You can do target price stuff. We can also do liquidations. You can, before you make your trades, you can figure out your liquidation if you want, if you wanted to, you know, kind of calculate everything out. So just a really great feature here that they do have available. The next thing we didn't really talk about that I think is very important is the funding rate. You see a countdown here. This happens every 12 hours and you're going to pay 0.01% of your trade value every 12 hours. Now in reverse, if you're going against everyone in the market, you're going to get paid. So if everyone is long and you're short, you're going to get paid 0.01% every 12 hours. So you can actually gain a little bit um, if you're trading against the market sentiment. However, you're also much more likely to lose money. So that's just the fee that you have to pay to kind of trade on here to keep these contracts going, to keep liquidity in the fund. It is a very small amount, but just keep that in mind because sometimes if you're making trades on tiny amounts of money, you'll pay a, um, you know, your maker fee fee and then you'll pay your uh, funding rate and it will look like you made a little bit less money or even right now when I look at this and it says my daily realized profit I believe that's actually taking um, you know what I'm gonna pay here on the funding rate or trying to figure that out or maybe that was the amount I paid in the fee but sometimes it'll look like you have a negative amount even though you've made money or um, you know possibly you haven't closed your trade and so usually that's what that's from it's either from your trading fee or from this funding rate so just keep in mind you do have to pay that
So just a few more things to cover here, guys. They do have a mobile app. If you'd like, you can set that up, and they have all sort of alerts. So I never trade on my mobile app, so I don't use it. But if you guys want, that is available. Another really great feature that they've added recently is the ability to have sub accounts. So if we come here to um, under our account and go to accounts and security, we can see there's a tab here for an option for a sub account. And if we click on that, we can then create another account. I currently don't have any sub accounts set up only because I have several actual accounts set up. Um, the reason why they made this sub account is because people like me were making multiple accounts and they realized there was a need for this. Um, so they now have that. Um, I already have my account set up. Like I said, that I have a couple accounts that I use. But if you guys are just getting started, know that you don't need to create another actual account. You can do a sub account and it makes it easier to transfer money and coins between all of your accounts and keep track of all your stuff. But basically, it's a separate username and password. And then when you go to log in in the beginning, there's just a little button for sub account. Account, just make sure you click that button when you're logging in for a sub account. If you're wondering why you might want a sub account, there's several different reasons you may want to open up a different account. One of them would be using different leverage. So maybe you want to go uh, long term, but you want that to be on a much lower leverage, like a 2x leverage you're trading over the course of several months. And then you have another account that you're trading over the course of weeks that you want to have a higher leverage and you're trading on maybe like uh, 20 or 15 x leverage in the very short term and so you'd want to have those separated so those trades didn't intermingle and interfere with each other and on that same kind of theme just using maybe different time frames one being like a long-term account and one being like a weekly or day trade account um, also different strategies maybe you want a long you know over the course of a long period of time like i said you're you're bullish overall over the next couple of years and you want to open a long-term position and then in the short term you're day trading and you may want to open a short obviously you can't have a long and a short on the same account thus the need for sub accounts so that's a really great feature that they've recently added if you guys are new definitely take full advantage of that when you're signing up and again make sure you use the link in the description to get all of those bonus rewards available you don't want to miss out on free money, especially when you're trading. That's everything for today's video. I hope I covered everything in depth and, and gave you all of the information that you need to get started with leverage trading. If I missed anything, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you as quickly as possible and possibly add an update video for anything else that needs to be covered. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you if you enjoyed it or learned anything, please do tap on that thumbs up button. Throw it on social media, share it with a friend or family member. Make sure you sub to my channel, bell to be notified on all future videos. Members only will get you a few extra perks. Happy trading, and let's get that coin.